be asking yourself, is tongues for today and for you? And yes, the, the answer is yes to both of those questions and I'm going to show you why and how. Speaking in tongues is for you today and it's for now. And I have proof of just one scripture that speaking in tongues is for you and for today. Speaking in tongues is also a very powerful tool that the death of Jesus paid for us to have. Let's go over Ephesians 6, 17 and 18. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. Standing, therefore, having your waist girded with truth, put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. So now you can see that it is the whole armor of God and part of the armor of God is the sword. Now think about this. God's armor is spiritual armor. The Holy Spirit is spiritual. The weapon is called a sword. Jesus had a sword coming out of his mouth, which is, a, which is the Spirit, which is alive. Jesus is called the Word of God, and the Word is Spirit. So just take a look at those very important thoughts and keys about the Word of God and praying in the Spirit. Now let's talk more and review mm -hmm. God about the why do we put on the armor of God? We put it on because God, first of all, we put it on. Second of all, God tells us to be strong in Him, not in our own knowledge. And He tells us that this is the power to be strong in the power of His might, not in our own strength. And that's Spirit what the Holy Spirit is about. The Holy Spirit is called our intercessor, our helper. He helps us pray when we don't know how to pray. Speaking in tongues is praying in the Word of God, God's perfect will. And we can only do this through praying and speaking in tongues. Now, praying in tongues is power for every single Christian because you are walking in the power of God when you're praying in the Spirit. P praying in tongues empowers you to stand against the devil. Praying in tongues allows the Holy Spirit, who knows more than you know, to be your helper. How can you speak and pray in tongues? First, you have to ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Next, you receive by faith the infilling and overflowing of the Holy Spirit, who is your helper and interceder. And then you just open your mouth and start praising God. Then by faith, start praising Him in a language that you do not understand. For more information about praying get your free book on angels, you go to robinbrainer.net. 
or to learn more about speaking. First